Hi, I'm Chiu Liang Lin. I'm speaking to you from Taipei. When I made my debut with the New York Philharmonic at age 21, I played the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto conducted by Zubin Mehta. It was a real privilege and thrill, and it remains so to this day whenever I play with the New York Philharmonic. It is a great orchestra. So I certainly understand the sense of loss the sense of uh, uh, of not going anywhere when all the performances have stopped in so many places. And I myself went through that period back in March when all the concerts stopped. And I actually didn't really want to touch the violin. I went through a really depressing period. But gradually I realized that playing the violin is still something I loved and staying away is just not an option. So I thought, how can I motivate myself? So I thought, okay, I'm a teacher. So why don't I assign homework to myself? Okay, so one by one, I started to learn and relearn pieces that I always wanted to play. And then I set a timetable for myself. I'm, I'm going to start practicing this piece, put in bowings and fingerings and do all sorts of like, you know, grunt work. And then maybe in a week or two, if I were to bring it into a lesson, how would I sound? Would I be okay or would I be terrible? And at each level, you know, perhaps on a weekly basis, I'll recheck where I, am, where I am. And then I will see if I need to work on certain aspects. And basically I'm just teaching myself as if I'm giving myself lessons week in and week out. And with that, I found I have renewed energy and a renewed sense of direction of, as to what I want to do. And it's kind of fun. I, I have to recommend that, that uh, particular technique just because I don't know any other way to stay motivated. So here it is, a tiny little bit of the Korngo Violin Concerto's Romance, which is a work that I've been working on recently. So with that little music, I want to wish you well, take good care, and I hope you always will enjoy music, love it, and I can't wait to get back on stage and perform again. Take good care, everybody.